Hello everybody, this is Terry Nance and I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bear. And I pray these messages that I've been given is touching your heart. It just takes a few minutes to listen to them, but I, they're there to uplift your spirit and give you wisdom and counsel for these last days. And as you're watching this, hit that subscribe button. If this blesses you, ring the bell so we can get, you can get notices and updates on it. But not only that, uh, Please go to GodsArmorBear.com, my website, and you can get all the books on really finding your place in the ministry, you know, uh, knowing, knowing your calling and looking at what you're doing. I know that it will bless you. It will stir up your heart. You know, the Bible, I've been talking about really just ministering to the Lord or encouraging yourself in the Lord. It's like when David was at Ziglag in, in 1 Samuel chapter 30. I mean, my goodness, he faced... Uh, a terrible situation and he had he was a broken man but he encouraged himself in the Lord and that's what God is saying to us today we can encourage ourselves in the Lord and he gives us uh, New Testament scriptures on on how to do that and it's found in Ephesians chapter 5 and it says I'm gonna read this again don't get drunk with wine which is corruption and wickedness now that's that's clearly stated, but be filled, constantly filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by him. So we are to be continually filled is what that means. Okay, well, here's the big question. You know, I always like to ask, well, the how question. Okay, Father, I know this is the word, but how do I do this? Well, it says here to speak to one another in the Psalms. One, one translation says just speak to the speak the Psalms and give the Psalms to other people. What it is, it's motivating, building up people. There's nothing any more powerful than praying the psalm and i mentioned that yesterday and now i'm going to illustrate it to you psalms chapter one blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the path of sinner nor sits in the sea of the scornful his delight is in the law of the lord and in his word he meditates day and night he'll be like a tree that's planted by rivers that brings forth fruit in its season his leaf will not wither and whatever he does shall prosper now that is an incredible word the word meditate means to, it really refers to the same way the Jewish people, the rabbis pray down at the Wailing Wall. I mean, they're involved spirit, soul, and body. So what you do when you're meditating the word, and this is how you get faith built in you, is that you begin to pray, pray the Psalms, take out all the pronouns and make it personal. Let me illustrate this to you. And I pray this. You open up your heart as I pray this. This is the way I pray in the morning so many times going through the book of Psalms. And I love the Psalms when I'm going through a challenge. Man, I got to have that life. And here it goes. Father, I thank you. I'm a blessed man. My family is best, blessed. My church is blessed because I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Father, I thank you that you are keeping me away from the counsel of the ungodly. I don't hear what they're saying. I'm not listening to what the news says. I'm listening to what you say. And I'm not going to stand in the path of sinners. Lord, I refuse to go the way of sinners. I don't care who tries to entice me. Holy Spirit, you keep me from the lust of my flesh, the pride of life, the lust of my eyes. You do it by the Holy Spirit. You cover me. You keep me from all evil. Nor will I sit in the seat of the scornful. I ask you to forgive me if I have judged anyone, if I've spoken harshly against anyone. Please forgive me in Jesus' name. And I am not going to talk about my pastor. I'm not going to talk about my church. I'm not going to talk about anyone. I'm going to speak good. But my but my delight is in the word, in the law of God and in his word. And in his word, I meditate day and I meditate at night. I thank you, Father. My passion is in the word. I thank you, Holy Spirit. You're stirring up a passion in me that I long for the word every moment of the day. I am like a tree that is planted by rivers of water. I bring forth fruit 
in my season. I thank you. I'm like a tree and I am not going to be moved. I'm like a tree that is planted in the refreshing of God. And I thank you. You are refreshing me even now as I'm sharing this and praying this in Jesus name. My leaf doesn't wither and everything I do and everything I put my hand to it is a success, and I give you praise, Father. It's not my might, it's not my power, but it's by the Holy Spirit, and I rest in that. Now, I trust that just me illustrating that, just showing you how to pray the word, that that lifted up your spirit, because I want you to look at how powerful that is. You're blessed. You know that word blessed means favored of God. You know, you can you can say, I am highly favored of God. I receive the favor of God. You know, grace is God reaching his hand down toward us. Faith is me reaching my hand and taking his hand of grace. And there is where the power and there is where the connection is made. And that only comes through faith. And faith, it's impossible. Hebrews eleven six tells us that it's impossible to please God without faith. Now, if you'll take that word today and look at it again, and you begin to pray that word, you can go through the Psalms. What I do is I just take a pen and I mark every scripture. Uh, let me uh, let me go through another one here. I believe will be a great blessing to you here, real quick. Uh, and that is, uh, I mean, Psalms 103. I mean, Psalms 103 is such an incredible promise. And it says this, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And you say, well, how do you pray that? This is what you do. Father, I bless you. I thank you. My soul, my emotions, my will are praising you today. Everything within me is lifting up my voice to you. And I thank you, Father, that I will not forget all your benefits. You forgive all my iniquities. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I am the righteousness of God. I am covered by the blood. You forgive all my iniquities. You heal all my diseases. And you redeem my life from destruction. And you crown me with loving kindness and tender mercies and you satisfy my mouth with good things oh my gosh you could take that every day and just start thanking him i am healed no coronavirus is coming near me it is broken over my life and i thank you that good things good everything coming out is going to be good you are good and i give you praise for it in the name of jesus now i pray just me uh, praying those for you and showing you and illustrating that that ministers to you right now because here is the truth we have to lift we've got to make the step of faith you have to praise God when you don't feel like it you have to lift up your voice when you don't feel like it and I honestly think that is the highest level of praise and it so connects with the Lord I pray this has been a blessing to you I've been blessed just by praying it and I just, in the name of Jesus speak, you're going to have the best day you've ever had in Jesus' name.